Welcome, everyone. We know working with insurance can be difficult and confusing in some EHR systems, but Therapy Note strives to make the whole process as easy as possible. Our success team is here and happy to help every step of the way. Today, we'll walk through how to complete EDI and ERA enrollments in Therapy Notes. Enrollments can be a very confusing topic, so we'll start by breaking down some of the acronyms and other terms you may encounter during the process. There are four terms you'll want to understand. Credentialing, electronic data interchange, electronic remittance advice, and electronic funds transfer. Credentialing is the process of applying to health insurance networks for inclusion in their provider panels. When you have a contract with a payer, you are considered to be in network. If you do not have a contract, you are considered to be out of network. Electronic data interchange, or EDI, is how claims are submitted electronically in therapy notes. When you are able to send an EDI claim in therapy notes, it means that the insurance company has given you permission to submit claims to them using therapy notes. Some companies do not require approval beforehand, while others require an enrollment process. Electronic remittance advice, or ERAs, are electronic versions of the explanation of benefits you would typically receive after sending a claim to an insurance company. These documents show the details of any claims you have submitted, as well as any adjustments and the explanation for any rejections. Finally, electronic funds transfer, or EFT, means that an insurance company has agreed to pay your claims by sending the payment directly into your bank account, similar to how an employee would receive a direct deposit. Now that you understand what all of these terms mean, it's also important to understand that each of them exist independently from each other. It's possible to be credentialed with a payer while also not being approved to submit EDI claims to them. Likewise, you may not be credentialed with a payer, but still able to submit out-of-network EDI claims, receive ERAs, or accept EFTs. However, some payers require you do have one of these services in order to use the other. For example, To use electronic funds transfer, you may first need to complete an EDI enrollment. Each payer will have a slightly different process, but there are still a few general steps you can take. To enroll for EDI claims and ERAs, you will need to add a payer. For this example, New York Medicare will be used. To add the payer, click Payers, then New Payer, begin typing in the name of the payer, and select them from the drop-down list. Once the payer information has been added, click Save New Payer and Enroll. Once the payer is saved, you will see the instructions appear in the Clearinghouse Services section. This is where you will be able to see if enrollment is required to submit claims and receive electronic remittance advice. Medicare requires enrollment for both services, however, some payers only require enrollment for one service. To download the claims enrollment instructions, click the blue link that says Download Claims Enrollment Instructions. Be sure to download the forms completely and open them in a PDF program like Adobe Reader. Do not complete the forms on the internet browser or complete the forms by hand. After the forms are open in Adobe Reader, you can type the required information directly into the document. All of the information needed to complete the Change Healthcare cover page can be found in the section titled Clearinghouse Services, including the vendor information for therapy notes. If required, the provider number is an ID assigned to you by the payer once you've been credentialed, like a PTAN for Medicare. The first page will be completed the same way for all payers, and any following pages will vary by payer. Once you've completed the paperwork, Claims enrollment forms can be sent to Therapy Notes via email at enrollments at therapynotes.com or by fax at 215-658-4551. To enroll for ERAs, click the link labeled Download ERA Enrollment Instructions. In this example, you will see that the instructions advise you to complete an enrollment process through Medicare's website. Be sure to follow all instructions so that the enrollment is completed properly. ERA forms can be sent to Change Healthcare using the instructions at the top of the first page. Be sure to send the entire form in a single PDF file, starting with the Change Healthcare cover letter. After the forms have been submitted, 
you will receive three email updates from Change Healthcare. One, when the forms are first submitted acknowledging a receipt. A second, once the forms have been processed by Change Healthcare and sent to the payer. And a third, when the enrollment has been approved or rejected. If you do not receive any email updates, there could be a problem with your enrollment. Please do not hesitate to contact the Therapy Notes enrollment team at any time during this process to prevent delays. Finally, if the instructions for your payer did not include information on credentialing or AFT, you will need to contact the payer directly. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like one-on-one -on -one support, we're available by phone or email at no additional charge. If you don't have a Therapy Notes account, visit therapynotes.com to try it free for 30 days. Thanks for watching.